Hello. Within your library Schoology group, you will find the CD Self Audit folder for this school year. Within this folder is the collection development timeline for the CD Self Audit. You will have the folder available in your Library Media Schoology group, as I am referring to. Um, you have a link to the self audit form, which is due by the date listed in the timeline. Um, and if you are have been identified as an audit school, you will see the due date for the audit list. All orders must be submitted unless you are an audit school on or before the date listed. Within the folder, you're going to find the full collection development timeline. This outlines all of the work that you've done regarding collection development so far this school year, in addition to the self-audit due dates and order due dates. The billing address for all of these orders, please make note, is 105 West Chesapeake Avenue in Towson. Following the timeline is an overview page. On this overview page is, again, a link to the self-audit form, which must be submitted prior to placing your CD order, and only schools being audited do receive feedback. The document linked here will show you what the audit form entails, um, and it is necessary for you to check this guiding document because you won't be able to see all of the necessary elements prior to completing the form. For example, we ask you to go back to your collection development plan priorities and identify your top purchasing priorities. For example, you may have had some top priorities that had included weeding, but those are not necessarily ones that you are going to be using to also place orders. So consider your purchasing priorities using the Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave Analyze List feature to provide information on the count, price, and total cost of your top three purchasing priorities. We also ask you to use the Tidal Wave Analyze feature to analyze the number of ebooks and print books that you are listing on your uh, CD order. And in addition, we ask you to go through the Analyze features um, to determine how you have used some of these features in order to build your list. In addition, the new by audience feature allows you to see the audience level of titles on your list, ensuring that the content you're purchasing is appropriate for your students and their needs. So we ask you to also check the audience levels that your list includes. If you're an elementary school, for example, we would not see any young adult or adult titles on that list. As part of the reflection, we ask that you verify that you over order by 20%. This means that you take your DNE amount, you multiply it by 20%, and you add that amount to the total so that your order is over a certain amount in case certain titles are unavailable. Uh, you also have ensured that all titles have two positive reviews, and if they don't, you've included a note identifying how you have identified that title as a worthwhile title for your students. Um, you have prioritized by the book type available, ensuring that the strongest version is ordered first, um, and that you've checked and considered copyright, especially for the age-sensitive areas in all Dewey ranges. Um, we also ask that you ensure that the audience levels are appropriate, that you do not contain any pre-order, out of stock, temporarily out of stock, or unavailable titles, as this will tie up your list. Uh, your list does not include paperbacks, but that you are aware if it does, that you will be charged an additional $3.25 per book for that covering. Um, and then these are the prohibited forms for your CD order, no toy or movable books, professional titles, makerspace kits, sets or series, that you actually review each title added to the list individually to ensure that it is acceptable and appropriate for your students, CDs or DVDs, and ebooks with assigned user access. In addition, we ask that you check for duplicate items. First, that you've chosen some first choice ebooks and or print books, and that you have select that the first choice items you have selected are, for example, curriculum titles, series completers, student or teacher requests, 
and top priorities according to the collection development plan. That's a brief overview of the guiding document, and then the self-audit form includes all of those aspects listed. It also includes some resources so that you can draw those um, that information a little bit more easily when you are completing the self-audit form. The pages listed should walk you through the Analyze List feature. The Analyze List feature for graphic novels and manga. Keep in mind that uh, it may take your list longer to fill for manga titles because they are very popular and it takes Follette a little bit longer to place to get gain these titles. The More Options feature within Tidal Wave, this will give you the ability to search your list, show any duplicate items, and edit the list name and notes so that you can add the DNE. The Narrow By feature is going to give you a quick snapshot on anything that's on your list. So if you have any pre-order items, sets or series, unwanted, no longer available items, these are the prohibited items, that you're quickly able to identify what they are because, again, anything blue is clickable and you can remove them. Again, the signed user ebooks are not available for purchase using your CD funding because these books are short-term, intended for classroom use, one book, one school, um, and because they're a short-term lending model that are assigned to individual patrons, they do not show up in Destiny Discover. They are not for the library. And then finally, new for 2022-23, the order review page in Tidal Wave allows you to check over any important items on your list prior to ordering. This includes your average age, two or more favorable reviews, the order by the audience level, product and classification, items for pre-order, ebooks and digital, world languages, and large print. This is a final check when you are placing your order to ensure that you are meeting your goals and that you are not going outside of any listed criterion. For example, you can quickly see whether if you're in elementary school, you've got any young adult or adult titles here. You can quickly see whether you have any paperbacks and which the, what those paperbacks are. Um, any pre-order items on the list would need to be removed, and you would be able to check whether you're meeting your goals in terms of world languages, or if you needed any large print items, you would be able to see those there. Again, everything in blue is clickable, so you're able to make any changes or modify your list from this page. And that is your CD self-audit for this school year.